website and understand my plans for Georgia. I want to ask you, especially before you go, about abortion. You've made headlines on that topic lately. You're not the only one. Kanye West, or yay, talking to our Tucker Carlson this week had this to say. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City. Uh, the most recently available data from New York City's Department of Health seems to support what he's saying there. But more broadly, according to the CDC, about 38 percent of abortions were obtained in the U.S. by black women. Uh, the U.S. Census Bureau, though, says that just 13.6 percent of our population is black. Do you share Ye's concern that black Americans are disproportionately impacted, he says, by abortion? I share the concern of women across the state of Georgia that they are being denied access to medical care. That in the state of Georgia, black women are most likely to die of maternal mortality issues because they're denied access to health care under this governor before they get pregnant. They are denied access to medical care during their pregnancy because of the medical shortage that we have in the state of Georgia, fomented by this governor. That when they have this child, if they choose to carry a, ch a child to term, if they're even allowed the choice of what they want to do, that post postpartum, they are denied access to health care afterwards. We know that in, in Brian Kemp's Georgia, a black woman faces a lethal choice, and that is to either have a crystal ball and know she's pregnant before she can actually know, or face forced pregnancy with very little support. In the state of Georgia, Brian Kemp has said that Herschel Walker is entitled to his personal choices, but no woman is, and that is unconscionable. And for black women in particular, but women writ large, the right to control our bodies, the right to our medical care should be sacrosanct. And unfortunately, unless I replace Brian Kemp, there will be a desert of access for black women across the South. Georgia will be the only state, if I become governor, we will be the only state from Texas to South Carolina where women can have access to care. That's 56 percent of the black population of the United States centered in the South and denied access to life-saving medical care. And so I'm going to fight as hard as I can to protect the right to abortion because that's how we protect the rights of women and that's how we protect the rights of Georgians. Were you to become governor,